everyone, I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. We've got two running backs who are hoping for plenty of running lanes on that field today. It's the 49ers going up against the Bears. So with kickoff straight ahead, we'll check in with our broadcast team. Here are Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. Thank you very much, Larry. We are here on a beautiful afternoon for football. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the San Francisco 49ers and the Chicago Bears. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by their starter. He spent three years in Denver. Now it is eighth with the Bears, Jay Cutler. And he threw his 200th career touchdown pass in 2015. So we know he's got the arm. That's never been an issue for him. But one of the things I think is almost overlooked about his game his ability to move around yeah he actually ran some you know zone read last year i saw him against arizona early in the season run for a couple of first downs off of the zone read so be careful of jay cutler's legs the lone setback is langford they're gonna give it to him running right and he's gonna lose yards they take him down at the 26 third and 10 here on their opening drive Third down, Cutler. Completion left side to Miller. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Langford again. And a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that is going to set up a third and one. They'll try to run for the first with Langford. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Now a play fake here on first down. Finding time. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Wow, I can't help it. When I see Jay Cutler throw the football, and throw one like that with a big completion, I can't help but be impressed. His arm strength, such an asset. Huh? It really is because it gets him in trouble sometimes, but I think it gets him out of trouble more often than that. So they're on the five-yard line here, second down. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. Jeremy Langford taking it in from four yards out. And the Bears take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. That's just a solid, methodical drive to start this game. And how about how it culminated? Doing exactly what they wanted to do, getting the ball downfield, and then running it into the end zone. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in, that hurts the defense psychologically a heck of a lot more. San Francisco now taking the field. Colin Kaepernick taking the field. He had a great game in Week 12. A play, unfortunately, that will be most remembered, though, the last play of the game. He almost got in the end zone, but couldn't quite get it done. So close because he'd had a big game, as you mentioned, all the way through, not just throwing the ball, but he ran it for 113 yards as well. And a lot of us, when we were watching the game, were thinking if he just moves to the outside, he's got a chance to get to the pylon. He saw it differently and didn't quite get to the end zone. But don't discount what we saw on Sunday. That's the best to me Colin Kaepernick has looked in a long time. He continues to get better. Kaepernick now on first down. This one complete right side to McDonald. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. From the gun on third down, Kaepernick. And he finds McDonald. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. And Cap, of course, was a great baseball player, drafted as a pitcher. He kind of showed his arm right there, didn't he? They let that one go, didn't he? That was, that was a catcher putting down the number one signal for the <laughs> fastball and turning it loose. It was needed in that situation, though. He right. had to throw a tight spiral and a hard one in order to get it in there for a completion. On first and ten, here's Kaepernick. Looking here for Smith downfield. That's caught inside the 20. It's a pickup of 33 yards. And the 49ers are going to get a first. 
Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage and go up and get the football. That's a big time play right there. Again, they'll throw with Kaepernick. This will be caught just inside the 10. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. Second and goal from the two-yard line. Now a run with high. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Carlos Hyde taking it in from two yards out. And the 49ers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. We got a little bit of everything on that run. Offensive line creating some space, but how about the guy running behind his pads into the end zone? What does that mean when a guy says running behind his pad? It means that he's going to be a physical runner. That way he's able to use his shoulder pads, his forearms, anything to ward off people to power his way forward. Check number six, check number six. Get out, on second down, here's Cutler. Jeffrey with a catch left side. And he takes this one all the way across midfield into enemy territory down to the 40-yard line. And now they're in the hurry up. On first and 10, it's Cutler. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Second down following the incompletion. Again on second and ten, it's Cutler. Dumps it into the flat to Langford. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. And now the offense operates in the red zone. From the red zone now, here's Cutler on first down. This will be caught just inside the 10. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Now it's Cutler. He's got time. That's caught at the two. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Zach Miller from three yards out. And the Bears have taken the lead. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Goal. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the left hash, this from 37. And the kick for the 41-year-old is up and good. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, where Larry Ridley has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? Thanks, Brandon. And welcome to the EA Halftime Report. Let's take a look back at the first half. Both teams have played smart with the football in the first half. Each team has avoided that one big turnover to this point, And it's a reason we have a very tight game at halftime. Third and 11, five in the secondary now. Nickel look. On play action, it's Kaepernick. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And incomplete, he can't hang on. Would have been a nice catch. Instead, it brings up a fourth down. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there. 
A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. An extra DB for the 49ers now on third. On third down, Cutler. Now Cutler in trouble. He lost the football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And his guys will take over at the 14-yard line in the red zone. And that's a down and distance coach is always talking about trying to avoid, isn't it? I mean, that's third and long. And you just know they're pinning their ears back and coming after him. Sometimes even with extra pressure. And he, he knew that. I mean, he, he knew they were coming. He just fumbled it. Yeah, he knew it. The offensive line knew it. Everyone did. Yet the pressure was still there. And he ended up coughing it up. Yeah, the 49ers getting set to trot out there. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Kaepernick. This will be caught just inside the 10. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Throwing his Kaepernick on third down. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. So they dial up the blitz on third and inches. It pays off. And frankly, they were probably dialing up a run blitz, expecting him to run it in that situation. But instead, they end up back at the quarterback and put him on the ground. And here's Phil Dawson now with a 49er field goal unit. And Dawson's kick is good. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So a good snap, good hold, and that one's right down the middle. Never in doubt. Just the way you used to hit them, Brandon. <laughs> They keep it on the ground for Langford. Spinning past him. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a hunting down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. It's throughout the game. And with the lead, stay in bounds. Make them fight harder to try and catch you. It's brought in by Kevin White. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. So on that play, defense was in the zone. They ran a crossing route offensively, but the defense there, you got to be good with communication, don't you? You certainly do, and it's not something that is really evident when you watch it on the screen. But everyone's talking, communicating, pointing, and it keeps you from chasing receivers because you have a specific zone you have to cover. When a receiver's in your zone and he crosses to another one, you got to let your guy know. They got a completion there, but I like the discipline they show to stay in their proper areas and then make the tackle. They go play action here on first down. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this is caught inside the five. They give him a gain of 37. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes, just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Again, it's Langford. And he stopped immediately there. It'll go as no gain on the play. And now they're looking at a third and goal. So stuff for no gain on second down brings up a pretty interesting third from this distance. I'm throwing the ball, and I'm not even thinking about play pass. I'm going to let them know right away I'm throwing it, 
I'm probably giving my quarterback some room, sprint him out to one side or the other, and give him an opportunity. If it breaks down, he can take off and run for it. On third and goal, Kotler. That's caught at the one. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Nice completion, nice gain. Great tackle. Really good tackle. Kept him in bounds, kept things going. What do you do here? That's the question. Let's see what they do. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. And Gold is able to put it through. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So they get the three here, but you wonder whether that's going to be enough. Yeah, I mean, you've now made it so they need a touchdown rather than a field goal to catch them. But you're right. If they'd gotten six out of that drive, this would be a much different game. Back to the air on second down. It's Kaepernick. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Vance McDonald, the tight end, was the target. And it's third down. So a third and ten. And defensively, a dime look. Six DBs. On third and long, it's Kaepernick. A hit as he throws there. Incomplete. Well, that plays a statistic that's going to go on the defensive team stat sheet. Won't necessarily reflect in hours, right, the overall game sheet. But you and I know that they keep count on pressures, hits on quarterbacks, all those things, hoping to increase that throughout the game. And here we are in the fourth quarter, and they got a big one. Yeah, and such a close game, a very big one. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Here's Mariani. He juked him. A big boot that time. 57 yards, the official distance. And the offense will come back onto the field for the first and 10. Second and 10 now. It's Cutler. Jeffrey with a catch left side. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Here's Cutler surveying the field. On the left side, a catch by White. A good pick up there, a 22. So there on that play, offensively, they were in the crossing route. Defense was in zone coverage, so as a former DB, how tough is it to defend that? It's really difficult because your natural inclination is to chase the receiver and maybe leave your zone. So you have to have discipline in order to Talk to your other coverage guys and let him know that that receiver's crossing from your zone to the next zone. He's coming your way. Make sure you have him. And then when the ball is actually thrown, secure the tackle. When they're moving on crossing routes, if you miss a tackle, it usually results in a big play. Langford again. Busy man this afternoon. And 49ers going to take another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Throwing now is Cutler. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. Partner, how many times have you heard it? Pressure creates diamonds, right? <laughs> but it also bursts pipes. And on that one, that's what they got. They got after him, and he was fortunate just to get rid of it. Yeah, he just had to chuck it away. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Fourth down. Here's Cutler finding time. Dumps it into the flat to Langford. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Now, hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. And now a first down following that long game. Oh, Cutler going to throw. And Miller with it over the middle. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Zach Miller, his second touchdown of the afternoon, and the Bears will add on to their lead.
Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. So that drive in total eight plays. And it was finished off with a 10-yard touchdown scamper. Now Kaepernick throwing on second down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. The corner blitz pays off there as they sack him for a loss of five. On third and long, it's Kaepernick. And that is incomplete. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Now whistles here, and I think one of the big boys for the 49ers might have jumped. False start, offense. They're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now Kaepernick got to have this one. He's got time. He's going to let it fly. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. A great read and it's picked off. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Well, you're trailing. It's the fourth quarter, and you've got to throw the football. But the defense knows this, too. So they're just going to sit back, bring in an extra defensive back or two, the old nickel or dime strategy, Brandon, and wait for you to put that bad boy up for grabs. And this one winds up being intercepted. Cutler kneels on it, and that should just about do it. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Bears get the win at home as we say so long from Soldier Field.